Okay. I'm extremely particular, so I... That's good. I mean, that's why you've, you've retained me, right? Let me get a pen as well. You yeah, guys have a pen for that? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I, I need you to speak up. I've learned quite a bit in this process. So how many videos of mine have you watched? Oh, I've seen probably a hundred. A hundred? Okay, all on Insta? Oh, yeah. I watch them just to look for fabrics. Thank you. Look, I'm very grateful to you. I'm very flattered. Okay? So this is the fabric that you've selected. Okay? Beautiful. Okay? So let me show you a cleaner piece, which is this. I've WhatsApped all of this to you already. Okay? okay? It's the same fabric. <laughs> Let's just make sure. <laughs> for your sake, not for ours. Okay? Okay. Now, all right. Is that more of a name? Your, I think Americans interpretation of Navy is very, 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 very broad uh, and stuff. So I think uh, coming from you and sorry if I'm uh, prejudging you in any ways, uh, forgive me. Uh, but yes, this would qualify as a Navy uh, okay. uh, and stuff. Would I call it a Navy? No, I would call it a dark Oxford blue, but that's just me. Okay. But it's definitely very much leaning towards an American Navy. Yep, I'm in need of one, so that's perfect. Okay. So, um, this is Vitali Barberis. They're the world's oldest fabric maker. They've been around since 1663. The interesting part about them is that they never vertically or horizontally integrated to any other industry. So for over 350 years, all they do is make fabric. Uh, I love using them because there's no more transparency and accountability than a brand like this. You, you, you get what I'm saying? If something happens to your suit, then it's nothing to do with the fabric and it's nothing to do with the tailor, it's your dry cleaner. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? That's why we deal with the world's best, right? Because there's millions of people around the world at the exact same time who are getting the exact same suit as you, whether it be from me or a tailor in Italy or New York or London or Paris or Los Angeles, Tokyo, etc., etc. You follow what I'm saying? We just have the best fabrics. Okay, we good? All right. So the lining inside the jacket is this baby right here. Which part of Florida do you live in? Naples. Okay. So you're happy with that, right? I, I think I like that, I like the contrast. <clears throat> okay, good. And this is gonna be your shirt. Yes. Okay, excellent. Um, so now let's talk about the style through and through, okay? Uh, so a couple of things, I'm, I'm going to use your cheat sheet first, right? Uh, and, you know, I'm concerned with a fabric this weight that you would want uh, a full lining. So I do, I do travel a bit up north too, and that's actually primarily where I wear jackets. Fine, so then it'll be a full lining. You've answered me. Yeah, okay. Fine. And you're convinced that you would prefer a two-button jacket? Oh, okay, so it's not really my suggestion, but let me present the options to you. Of course, you could have a one-button jacket, like I'm wearing. There's another example here, and another example here. How many suits do you have in your wardrobe already? Uh, probably about three. And they're all two buttons? I believe so. Yeah, so then you could explore wanting to do something else. So we could make you a one-button, or we could make you a three-roll suit. So if we look at this gorgeous baby here, this is for a client of mine in upstate New York. You can see that it's essentially a two button, okay? But it's decorative. So the third button is behind the roll of the lapel. And the button hole is in the roll of the lapel. That's different. That's different. So if you wanted to try something different, then I'm the guy to try it with. And then you could yeah, go for a three roll like two or a one button. What do you think? I think the three roll two would be Okay, kind of great cool. stuff. So, Why we're not? gonna... Sorry, I can't hear you, I'm so sorry. Why not, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I've got, I've got the Indian Army walking in and out of my uh, shop, you know what I mean? Because they've got nothing better to do, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and stuff, and you know, when we're not live, right? They'll just sit down and do nothing. But it's, it's the revolving door show uh, uh, when I'm live, so I apologize. Um, the lapel, a narrow peak. You've done your research, you know what I like, obviously, and I'm, I'm glad you've honed into that. And I'm wearing a narrow peak right now. So this is good for you, correct? Yes. And the pocket are barquetta, barquetta, barquetta. Yes. Okay, great for a solid color fabric. Definitely the way to go. 
So the lower pockets, three lower pockets, kissing and undersized, correct? But uh, would you like them slanted? Or I'm going to do them straight, yeah. but I'm seeing uh, maybe a little bit of an overlap with the ticket pocket. Okay, so, so straight, overlapping, and yes. undersized. Yes. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, great stuff. Um, I'm, I'm very happy, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's not because uh, I'm not covering a bunch of options with you. I'm, I'm very happy because I'm not pushing you or selling you in any direction. You've done the research for yourself based on everything of mine you've seen out there. So well done on, on watching the 100 videos. You know, you know what I mean? I hope they've been educational for you. So the cuff buttons you would like overlapping. Again, my preferred way of doing things. Yes. Okay. We're going to talk about a couple of things after we go through your notes, okay? Um, before we move on, <clears throat> we want to go back up to the top. Any stitching on the lapel? Pick stitching or a deep press? Here's the deep press. I'm just going to leave it without any. So no stitching, okay? Any yeah. buttonhole on the lapel? Yes. Okay, buttonhole, all right? So since we have functional cuffs, right? Would you like any contrast stitching here on the cuffs? And would you like any contrast stitching here on the buttonhole? So here's another example, another example, another example, another example. In fact, all of them are littered with the same sort of examples except for the one that caught your eye initially. So the question is plain, and you can see what plain looks like right here, or something more decorative. Yeah, I think I'm good with the plane on this one. So plane. So so real buttonholes, four overlapping buttons, but no contrast. Okay, awesome. Uh, staying with the design details of the jacket, the felt color underneath, what are you feeling? I was thinking a camel. Okay, so let's look at it. I'll show you the camel right now. Here's a camel. This is pure camel. Okay, this is one shade darker. Which one do you like out of those two? The, definitely the lighter one. Okay. The higher That's contrast. Good. Okay, excellent. The buttons we said that we're gonna go with 1902, correct? Yeah, I wanna take another look at it because it's so hard to tell from yeah. photos. Oh yeah, that is nice. They look great together. They really do, because they're, they're the perfect color match, but then the button has got a gorgeous sheen. Yes, that's nice. I can see it much better on this video. The other one that would go well, because you've got the black in here oh. as well, will be this one. A more classic look. You can see it exactly here on the suit that caught your eye. Actually, I think I like that better. Okay, then we're going to go with this, 1914. Cool. And when you see it again in, in a week's time, if you want to change, we'll change it. Buttons are simple. And when you get it and you use it after a month, six months, a year, I can send you new buttons. No big deal. Okay? So your suit jacket, you want a slim fit, right? Not a skin fit. Yeah, just a slim. And a single center pop vent at the back. Yes. So the vent is short and it pops. Excellent. You, would you like a rope shoulder, so an exaggerated shoulder? I don't have an example here, but it's like an Yves Saint Laurent jacket or a Christian Dior jacket which jumps out. Are you happy with uh, the classic no, shoulder? Regular, regular spine. Okay, regular shoulder. Excellent. Uh, my dear team, do you have any questions for Lepel, the gentleman? Lepel, Lepel, Lepel. Lapel is going to be a narrow piece. Narrow peak. Okay. Anything else? No. Got it? Okay, okay, great stuff. Any questions for me about the jacket? I don't think so. Okay. So the pants, you, you've indicated buckles. Yes. No cuff and no brick. So on the no brick side, would you like, like mine, where it doesn't touch, or you'd like a touch with no brick? Just a, yeah, a light touch. So just touch it? Yes. Okay, got it. Okay. Um, the pants, you like a, you have a high waist, medium or low. The difference is very small. 
High waist is a guy who just pulls his pants up a lot. Medium waist is a guy who doesn't screw with his pants. Low waist is a guy who's always pushing his pants down, like me. <laughs> I would go right in the middle with the medium. Okay. You like a high crotch like me, or you like a bit of a sag? Um, what's the typical? High. High? Yeah. Okay. For a suit like this, and for the options that you've uh, locked into so far, yeah, high crotch is typical. Yeah, that's a better silhouette that way, right? Yeah. The pant leg, right? You want skin fit, slim fit, or classic taper? I go with the um, slim. Slim fit, okay, great. Um, the shirt, I think, is just magnificent. I love it, right? What I was thinking, yeah, what I was thinking for you is the inside collar and cuffs. Why don't we use the lining fabric? That would be cool, right? Because they, they, the colors go so well together. I think that would be really cool. Awesome, awesome. I won't do any other contrast stitching for you because there's so much going on. Okay, so we yep. just look at a couple of shirts here, right? So what you'll have is the body of the shirt. The body of the shirt, well, let's use this one, okay? The body of the shirt will be this fabric. Actually, let's just use this one, okay? The inside of the collar and the underneath of the cuffs will be in your lining fabric. We good? Yes. You will have real mother of pearl buttons. They'll be classic mother of pearl buttons in color, okay? Okay. I don't think that you need a contrast color stitching because of what, because of what's already going on in the shirt. Unless you went with a yellow like mine. Okay. Do you like that yellow? Because yeah. that's the only thing that would go. Or a brown uh, or whatever. Or we could leave it the way it is. Yeah, I think just leaving it the way it is. You sure? I mean, the more I think about it now, now that I've seen my own shirt. What colors are you seeing here? What colors do you see? Um, orange, green, and yellow. So we could do an orange stitching, a green stitching, a yellow stitching if you want. So I've got yellow on mine. And then what colors are you seeing here? Definitely green, blue, pink, and maybe a little bit of yellow. So then the, the consistent one is uh, 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 yellow, right? Pretty much, and green? Yes. So why don't we do a yellow or green stitching? Okay, if you want to do it. Which color do you prefer, yellow or green? I think yellow will blend better on the white shirt. Great, let's do it. Okay, the shirt slim fit, right? Yes. Okay, the, the rest you leave to me and my magic. Is that okay? Perfect, and then the, for the cuffs? Yeah. Well, they'll be wide enough for cufflinks. You will have the option to wear both buttons and cufflinks. Is that cool for you? Okay. You wear a big watch on the left side? I do. Okay, great. Excellent. Any questions about the shirt? No, no, Okay. So what about your initials? Do you, would you like them on a shirt like this? So that's what I have to talk to you about because I actually have a really long name. Okay, tell me. It's, uh, it'll, the initials will be PJCM. PJCM on the cuff is no problem, okay? On the gusset, you need to pick two. CM. So CM on the gusset. Yes, sir. And PJCM on the cuffs. Okay, so on the on the cuffs, what color initials? Dark green or black? Oh, I think black would be cool. Okay, on the gusset, maybe we do a white so that it pops up, okay? Perfect. Excellent. Any other questions, Wait, everybody? How do you feel about the buttonhole stitching being black? Harsh, but we can do it. Too much? I just think it's harsh, right? It's a... Uh, I don't see any black in here. Okay, so that's gonna draw too much attention to the eyes. No, I think it's gonna negate from the pattern. Okay. You know what I mean? We want the shirt to do the talking, not the buttonhole stitching, right? Okay. So let's stick with the yellow. That's fine. If you hate it, we'll change it. But let's let's get the yellow a shot first. Okay. That's great. Right. Happy? Very happy. Everybody happy? Okay. Little we'll review the WhatsApp chat and we'll come back to you with some more questions, okay? Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Bye. Here's measurements you need to review, okay, and see if you actually have them. 
uh, and stuff and see what's on his file. Yeah, he's putting his measurements through today. Okay. So you want to call Simon to come down? Deep J, you pack uh, the black suit. Okay. <coughs> you three get Simon. Okay. Start working on this, and then I've got a lot of work for us to do today. Lots and lots of work. Uh, hi, everyone. I'll do a quick Q&A with you. Deep switch the ACs, bring you the black phone. So I'm glad there's 392 people here. There was 798 earlier. Uh, trying to answer some questions for you. So two very swift uh, talks today, and I'll get to why they were so swift. So then we started at 10.20 and that's 10.56, two and 28 minutes. I mean, uh, that's huge. Uh, no, I did not hit my staff. <laughs> We're just playing around. Don't don't fall for crap that's out there. <laughs> Any questions here before I shut down? Come back. Thank you for all the love. The shit is going to be killer. Yeah, I love the black suit as well. Okay, let me shut this Insta video down and uh, uh, come back. The footprint shit. The footprint shit is cotton, Richie. Oh, my pleasure, bro. Uh, 